Good morning all. Uh, it's a different day today for me. Um, wasn't planning on doing a video. However, I've just been notified that today's the day the electricians are starting to do some work in our house. So I've got an issue that I work from home a uh, majority of the time and I'm still going to be able to power up things like um, the modem, the router, the cordless telephone, laptops, all that sort of stuff. Upstairs, I've got my main portable battery packs. That's going to power up the study. So my printer, uh, the laptop and the lamps and various monitors, they will be powered, no issues at all. But it's downstairs that's the problem. Um, I've got a, a modem and a router and a cordless telephone to power up. So I'm going to put this to the test. This is it's a couple of years old. Um, I'll give you a proper closer look at that shortly. It gives me 240 volts, about 120 watts of power, I think, which is ample for today's application. And it gives me uh, a couple of 12 volt outputs as well. So that's gonna power uh, a router, a modem, and the cordless telephone. Uh, all of that is situated. So that's the router down there. The modem as well is down there somewhere. That one there is the Hive, so that could actually be connected as well. Um, so I'll just, I'm just gonna have to get down there, pull it all out, get it connected. <coughs> Again, this is the one thing that I meant to do ages ago and just tie up all the wiring and stuff. I haven't done it. So anyway, I'm gonna put that out now and then I'll show you all connected. Okay, so this is a bit of a squeeze, but we can just about get in here. So the first thing I need to do, uh, and I made this up, a few months ago. This is only a temporary job. And it's one of those temporary jobs that ended up by being never made permanent. But I've uh, got two of these barrel connectors, of these eight mil barrel connectors uh, going to the one. So this will enable me to plug into this power supply. Um, we've got the 12 volt input there which you can use solar or a mains adapter or a cigarette light adapter for your car. And you've got your 12 volt output there. So that's going to plug into the 12 volt like that. And then I simply need to unplug the mains for that one and plug in one of these into that one. And then on the router itself, Unplug that and plug in that one. So they're all plugged in. Let's move that wiring out of the way. And then by turning on, it's showing me 100% charge for the battery. And hopefully we'll get some power to the devices. But it would, of course, help if I plugged it into the outputs, not the input. Right, there we go. Thank goodness for that. Right. <coughs> so, I did see some lights coming on. Right, there we go. So, lights are coming on to the router. So, that's good news. The modem, you can't really see that, but there is a light there that's coming on. And uh, that's all going to power up nicely. So give that a moment just to boot up. Now the last thing is the cordless telephone. Um, that's gonna plug into there. We're gonna press and hold the AC power button. Gone to green, that's good. And the cordless phone's just beeped, as you can see, and that's just lit up as well. So the cordless telephone and the modem and the router are all powered by this device. So let's see how long this will last for. Um, I'm expecting the power to be off about four hours. Um, this should be ample. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just keep this on until the battery runs flat. So we'll come back to it in a little while. Um, what time is it now? It's just sort of half past eight now. So it's 8.30 in the morning. Let's come back to it in a little while and see how well it's doing. Right, so I happen to have two of these um battery boxes so whilst you're the ones powering up the uh, router and modems and such i'm going to show you the other one and i'm going to put this to the test as well 
uh, to see about running my old laptop. I can't do my current setup because that's being used um, in the study with other bits and bobs. So I'm going to use this old one to see how long this will last for. So a bit of a closer look. This wasn't supposed to be a review and I'm not really doing a review as such. I'm just showing you what it is and, and how it works. It comes with a um, three pin main adapter to charge. Comes in with this, uh, I think these are eight mil, barrel to barrel connector plugs. Uh, funny enough, this is actually what you would power this up with if you wanted to uh, daisy chain these together. So you can have the output of one going into the input of the other uh, to give the other one like an extended power. Um, also plugging in your modems as such. If you want to have the 12 volt output turn into a cigarette lighter adapter for various charges, you can. Uh, and if you want to charge this from the car, then you can do. Um, it's got four USBs. I'm not sure on the power. These aren't, certainly are not fast USBs and you don't get an awful lot of power. It does say that um, 3.1 amps max. I, I very much doubt you're going to get 3.1 amps out of those. But um, I have charged up a mobile phone and little devices and it, and it seems to have worked. So there you go. Um, so yeah, you've got your uh, three pin uh, 240 outlet there. So it comes with the instructions. What's it telling me? So thank you for using our HP 200 portable power bank. Uh, it tells me what it'll supply, what it'll power. So the capacity of this is 146 watt hours. So that's not an awful lot. However, for the size of this and uh, for the cost, and I think I paid about 119 pound off eBay, um, off Amazon. Um, Da, 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 da. Charging time between six and seven hours. Uh, it gives you a maximum of uh, 10 amps if you're using the 12 volts output. Uh, the inverter is a continuous power output of 200 watts, peak power uh, 250 watts. Uh, you can charge it about 500 times. Um, and I'll be honest with you, for what I've used it for, I've used this for powering um, uh, portable modems when we've been away, uh, you know, router modems, and it's lasted really well, but I, I couldn't tell you how long, but it's lasted a sufficient time for what we've used it for. So it's quite a nice handy size box, a uh, little fan on the side. Uh, this wouldn't be enough to power things like CPAP machines. Um, it's, it's run a TV for about uh, two hours, a little LED TV. So it's uh, stood okay. So what I want to do, just for entertainment purposes, I want to see how long it would last powering up a computer. Now this is a really old laptop that I tend to use just for uh, reprogramming radios and stuff. Um, it should have some life in it. So we'll see. So plugging that in to the mains. We'll see how well it does. Uh, the battery in the laptop is already charged. Um, it's charged to about 90% at the moment. So let's power it on anyway. Press and hold the AC button. But first of all, we're going to turn the unit on. Press and hold the AC. There we go. Green light is on. We have power. Um, it doesn't show that it's charging on here. Maybe I need to log in. Yes, it's powered up. It's uh, charging. Everything's working as it should. Right, so again, it's about half past eight in the morning. I'm going to put these things away to try and keep the place tidy and then uh, we'll come back to it and do a review on the status of the power. Okay quick update uh, it is now quarter past 11 so it's been just less than three hours the power is now back on but I'm going to keep this test running because I'm curious um, yeah so those two devices the lights not that's from the mains 
got these two routers and the modem and the telephone and it's still showing full power so that's good moving over here the laptop uh still on full power um i guess this is going to take an awful long time to to flatten down but uh i'll keep on going and we'll see so again full power there okay a quick update it is just uh just after half past one and the battery power has gone off completely dead laptop still on is now running off its own battery that's charged up but the computer's been on for just over five hours and has been powered up and charged with this and now I've got another five or six hours of use out of the battery on the laptop so i don't think that's too bad really i'm quite pleased with that that's completely dead i'm going to stick that on charge and uh we'll uh do some more tests i think still waiting for this one to go down still showing 100% battery it won't be 100% battery but it's showing and they're still powered up nicely still providing me with a lovely fast internet so uh let's just see how long then so just over five hours and it's still going strong so one thing i thought i'd just try uh is to see how much power this takes to charge so according to the instructions it takes between six and seven hours to fully charge which i think is actually quite a long time so let's just see what currents it pulls so i'm going to use the jackery that's fully charged turn that on and if i get the angle right because it's not a very good screen on this one 100 percent battery there if i plug that to the 12 volt input that's now flashing to indicate it's charging. And if we look at the screen on here, it says, oh, what's that, 25 watts. So it's taking 25 watts. Uh, 28 watts. So 28 watts, it's not an awful lot, is it? No wonder it takes a long time to charge, but, uh, Let's just see what happens. I'll leave that on there for a bit and see if things change. So yeah, it, it hovers around 27, 27 to 28 watts. And that's what it's taken to charge. So I could get a really powerful solar panel connected to this and it's not gonna charge anything faster than 27 watts. So, you know, a little 30 watt panel would be ideal. 50 watt panel would be, would be probably the best. Um, but yeah, there you go. Right, let's just see what happens. Right, well, it's been seven hours. It's only been about two hours since this has been on charge. Uh, still using 27 watts. Battery's now at 83%. And we've got the, uh, the second LED flashing, which shows that it's done 25% and it's now trying to complete 50%. So that's okay. A bit slow, but it works. Uh, power supply there's the dog having a bit of a rest uh again booter modem telephone powered by this we've still got three leds it's still showing 75 percent so uh that's doing really well so that's been eight hours so i think this is going to be uh well until uh late evening before it goes dead so that's a good thing okay we'll uh, keep on monitoring it and we'll see where we go from there. Peppa. Peppa. Okay, final update. Everything is just on its way out. So we've got that flashing away. The inverter's turned off. We've still got a little bit of power, but nothing that's uh, working. And the uh, router's off. So there we go. So it's now 10 past, 10 past five. 10 past five, so it's lasted since half past eight. So it's lasted quite a, quite a long time. So let's work that out. Eight, nine, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five. So about just over four hours. Just over four hours that's lasted. Let's have a quick look at this <clears throat> before I turn it off. So it's, uh, it's flashing up there now. So it's on the 75% mark. 
and it's still constant at 27 watts it's drawing my Zachary is at 66 percent so that's not done too badly not too bad so whatever i decide to charge this with it's going to be constant it's about 27 27 watts so like i said this wasn't supposed to be a review this wasn't a review video at all i was just demonstrating about power supplies and then it just kind of turned into one but um very pleased with these <clears throat> very pleased to get all that turned off so a little bit of information <coughs> excuse me that i've just printed off so i purchased this in july last year and uh, it's 120 pound i paid i haven't got it on the, on the deal that they're doing it's made uh by uh pokies or pokey <clears throat> uh sold by pokey and uh it was from amazon they have got their own website so you can go on there and have a look at what they've got if you're interested in one um but yeah it's worked out really well so 150 so 146 watt hours uh they claims to be um 200 watt hours i know i said is 150 or 120 uh watts uh pure sound inverter it's actually 200 watts and it's nice and light um and it's sort of 3.3 pounds in weight so there you go right so all in all it's been a good result it's been a good test today um i'll be honest the uh the power supplies lasted a lot longer than I thought it would do, but bearing in mind the inverters being on, powering the cordless telephone, which doesn't take much, but they're not efficient uh, inverters, so you lose a lot of power. And, uh, you know, keeping two routers uh, powered up all day has done really well. Very pleased. You can't use them as a UPS. And the reason behind that is because you can't through charge these. So you can't have these switched on powering something whilst they're in charge themselves they'll just not allow that to happen it just doesn't work so you can't use it as a ups so you are going to get interrupted if you have to suddenly connect this but my understanding is like with most small uh, battery generators solar generators you can't do that anyway i think it's the the larger ones or the more expensive ones like the jackery the bluettes and the other various makes that they do the larger ones you can through charge and use them as ups if you want but not with this. But still, it's a cracking little bit of kit and uh, well worth having. Right, okay, I'm going to leave you to it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next one.